Hello everyone, I am very much pleased to welcome you for this video lecture. In this video lecture, let us solve a problem based on variable volume reaction and fractional change in volume at complete conversion. Let us look at the problem. An irreversible gas phase reaction 2P gives 4Q plus R is conducted in an isothermal and isobaric batch reactor. Assume ideal gas behavior. The feed is equivalent mixture of the reactant P and the inert gas. After complete conversion of P, calculate the fraction change in volume. Let us solve the problem. First, let me write the formula for fraction change in the volume at complete conversion. That is, epsilon A, fractional change in the volume at complete conversion. That is equal to volume of the reaction mixture when conversion is complete, x P equal to 1 minus V, volume of the reaction mixture, when x P equal to 0 divided by volume of the reaction mixture when conversion equal to 0. Let me take a basis as 2 moles of P. Now, let me determine V when conversion equal to 1, V when conversion equal to 0. V when XP equal to 0 v when x p equal to 1 for the all the species in the reaction mixture p q r and i at the initial stage we have an equal mixture of reactant p and the inlet therefore we assume here 2 moles of p therefore 2 moles of p contain 2 moles of inert at the end of the reaction, inert won't participate in the reaction. Therefore, I can write here as 2. We do not have any product at the starting of the process. Therefore, I will put 0 for Q and R. At complete conversion, all the P will be converted into the products. Therefore, I will have 0 moles of P. Whenever 2 moles of P react, it gives 4 moles of Q. Therefore, number of moles of Q will be 4 at the complete conversion. Whenever 2 moles of P react, it gives 1 moles of R. Therefore, number of moles of R at complete conversion will be equal to 1. Let us sum all these things. We we'll get 4. For this case, it is 4 plus 1 plus 2, 7. Now, let us substitute these values in our fraction change in volume formula. That is, V xp equal to 1 is equal to 7 minus v xp equal to 0 is 4 divided by 4 equal to 3 by 4 that is equal to 0 0.75 therefore epsilon a equal to 0 0.75 that is fractional change in volume at complete conversion that is the answer for the question in the problem. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.